This is ABC 7 News at 5.30. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. The 4th of July is a chance to celebrate our freedom. But for those who fought for that freedom, this holiday can bring back memories from war as well as symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. ABC 7's Kate Flexter is joining us live from Sarasota's Bayfront with more on this story tonight. Kate. Thanks, Haley. We're just hours away from those fireworks. And the veteran we spoke to today says that holiday tradition can have a strange effect. Yeah, I was a combat paramedic. I was a Navy corpsman. And so my whole job you know, was treating trauma. After two tours of duty in Iraq, Brian Jacobs suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. I, you know, I have triggers. Um, as you grow outside the military, you realize what those triggers are and you learn how to deal with them. He's reminded by one of those triggers each year in July. The sound of unexpected fireworks. I could hear and feel the impact of the boom is so close. That can be jarring. It's a feeling he shares with thousands of Americans. One in five of the 2.5 million veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan have been diagnosed with PTSD. And experts say the sound of fireworks can trigger those symptoms. Your blood pressure starts to pump, you know, your eyes are wide open, you, you hear clip more clearly. I mean, it's really, uh, it's really weird how your body reacts. At the Veterans of Foreign Wars post in Sarasota, Robert Bryant works with veterans coping with PTSD. It's also the older, older veterans as well that have been in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Around the 4th of July holiday, he makes sure veterans have the resources they need, from the VA's PTSD hotline to connecting each person with a network of fellow veterans. You can put earplugs on to, to avoid the sound or uh, talk to a friend that the been in the same situation, maybe could talk to each other. For Jacobs, the most important thing is creating a safe environment for yourself and taking the time to enjoy the holiday our veterans fought to defend. We fought for these freedoms. We fought for this ability for this holiday to happen. I mean, so this is something important as veterans. We need to understand that we need to celebrate as well. For a list of resources available to veterans, visit our website, mysuncoast.com. Reporting live in Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Kate. And on a day meant to represent freedom and patriotism, why does our country feel so divided? Local therapists say more couples in opposing political parties are considering a split since the heated presidential race. A longtime professional wrestling promoter blames Donald Trump's campaign style, which he compared to WWE promotion, primarily by insulting opponents and creating villains. It's even led to the rise of Dan Stevens, a small town wrestler who has gone viral for his ring name, the progressive liberal. In many respects, Donald Trump uh, reflected the WWE Vince McMahon playbook uh, by, frankly, insulting your rivals. You do not criticize someone's religion, for example, and some people's political views are as important to them as their religion. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, we'll explore the divide, how it happened, and how we can start to mend it on what should be our most patriotic holiday. And on this Independence Day, millions are observing America's 241st birthday with a traditional parade, fireworks, even a hot dog eating contest. ABC's Elizabeth Herr has a look at all of the celebrations across the country. The fourth festivities kicking off in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's always like different every year. It's so colorful. Hosting the nation's first Independence Day parade right at midnight for 42 years and counting. Welcome everybody to Cleveland on the lake. At daybreak in Cleveland and from coast to coast, the birthday party for America picking up steam with more festivities and food, even in outer space. Astronaut Peggy Whitson sharing this cool video tweeting, Happy birthday, USA. Three, two, one, and time is up. And while you might not be too familiar with this annual burger eating contest in Washington, D.C., surely you've heard of this hot dog eating contest on New York's Coney Island. 101st running of the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Contest. 
where the returning champ, Joey Joss Chestnut, set a new record by downing 72 hot dogs. And in the women's competition, Mickey Sudo came out on top with 41 hot dogs in 10 minutes. The day of celebrations capping off with what else but fireworks. New York City expected to attract more than a million spectators at this year's Macy's Fourth of July Spectacular. And with so many people out and about, police from New York to Los Angeles say they are prepared to make sure everyone enjoys a safe holiday. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. A South Florida man is spending his holiday recovering from a serious fireworks injury. Officials say it happened after fireworks went off outside of his home in Fort Lauderdale yesterday afternoon. The man severely burned his hand. He was later transported to a trauma facility. His condition is not known at this point. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, about 11,000 people were injured by fireworks last year. Four of them died from their injuries. Please be careful and a good reminder, fireworks and sparklers can also be dangerous and very upsetting for your four-legged friends. But there are some things you can do to ensure that your pets have a safe holiday. First, keep your pets inside during celebrations. Fireworks can be terrifying for pets and some can get very stressed out. Be sure to keep your pet in a safe space, close the doors and the windows and leave the TV on. And if you do take your pet to an event, make sure that the pet is wearing an identification tag. Watch for unsafe foods and decorations and also keep your pet away from the grill and any alcohol as well as sparklers, fireworks or anything that could Harm them. And if you do want to check out some fireworks yourself, there are a lot of shows planned across the Sun Coast. Most of them start just after dark. The fireworks spectacular over Sarasota Bay starts around 9 o'clock. The show is free and can be viewed from anywhere downtown or on Island Park. The 27th annual 4th of July fireworks display over Siesta Key Beach will also start around 9. And then in Venice, fireworks are fired off from the South Jetty just after sunset. For a full list of all of the 4th of July events on the Sun Coast, Coast, head to our website, mysuncoast.com. Of course, the big question is, will the weather hold up on the Sun Coast for all of these fireworks displays? Let's check in with ABC7 meteorologist Steve Newman. Getting a lot of calls and messages, people asking that very same question, Haley. And with these storms coming out from around Fort Myers over Charlotte and Lee County, uh, moving into uh, southern Sarasota County, you can see as they move over Charlotte Harbor, they're kind of decreasing in intensity and coverage, but uh, they will probably move offshore what's left of them before the fireworks start. We had another strong storm form right over us in downtown Sarasota at 4 o'clock. It has now moved up over West Bradenton, and there's just a little bit of it left just off West Bradenton. It's probably not even going to make it to Egmont Key. So here's the computer forecast. This is the best job we got for you right now, the best forecast. It has an idea of those storms down to the south of uh, Sarasota County, moving offshore by 9 o'clock tonight. They're all gone, and we have very mild winds from the west, and it stays mild or warm all night. And the temperature forecast has been cooled off by our automatic plot in the last uh, few minutes because of the storms in the area. Looks like we will cool off into the low 80s in time for the fireworks. That would be nice. That's one good thing, having the fireworks, having the storms pass early before the fireworks start. The complete forecast coming up in a few minutes, Haley. Thank you, Steve. Now to the debate over the need for affordable housing in North Venice. The developer wants to build a 510-unit condo complex for working people who are struggling to pay rent. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley is joining us now live with concerns over this new plan planned or proposed development. Christopher. Good evening, Haley. The City Council recently approved the first reading of an ordinance change for that property, but some worry it may be too much. This is the property in question. It's off Knight's Trail in North Venice. The developer, Economical Housing Development, would like to build 510 units geared towards people who work but can't afford a large rent payment. John Ryan, president of the Venice Chamber of Commerce, supports the idea. We're going to lose even more employee opportunities as time goes on if we don't do something. The property is very close to businesses like PGT and Turvis Tumbler both of which supply thousands of jobs, many of which are paid hourly. Last week, City Council heard from members of the community, some of which said hourly wage earners are often overlooked. I believe working with the private sector gives, it, gives us the best chance to achieve a long-term sustainable solution to the problem of attainable workforce housing. 
City Council member Fred Fraze is limited on what he can say about the project until a final vote is taken. But he did tell us there are other developments being built in the same area. He fears whether the infrastructure can support it. In my mind, it's getting out of hand, whether it's the roads, um, police and fire not being able to keep up with, with the growth. Others have taken a different approach in expressing their opinion. In one email sent to City Council, a Venice resident shared a concern that the complex could attract, quote, undesirables, drug addicts, thugs, thieves, and prostitutes, unquote. Going so far as to say it might turn into the hood or a ghetto. Now, the ordinance passed narrowly on the first reading. There will be a second reading, and that will be another opportunity for residents to get directly in front of city council and let them know how they feel. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Christopher. An update now on a road and bridge closure in Sarasota. Osprey Bridge is now open to pedestrians and bicyclists. According to city officials, Osprey Avenue between Hillview Street and Mound Street is expected to reopen to vehicles by July 14th. The road was closed last July for construction on lift station 87, so crews could do micro tunneling work on the bridge over Hudson Bayou. It is part of a major project to replace the current lift station. The new station is scheduled to be complete in 2020. On Longboat Key, another successful 4th of July parade. The annual event kicked off at Bicentennial Park this morning. Plenty of spectators showed up to show off their patriotism. They lined the streets as the parade made its way around Bay Isles Road. A few floats, families, firefighters, police officers all taking part in this parade. I think it's because it's really an old-fashioned celebration of the of the 4th of July. I know AC's really into dogs and fire trucks. That was a very big attraction for us, and we wanted to see the shortest parade possible. So we're here. I don't blame them in this heat. Anna Maria Island's privateer has also held a parade that began at Coquina Beach and ended at the city pier. After all of the festivities and big crowds go home, there will likely be some work to do. So you can help clean up the trash and litter that may be left behind on our area beaches. We hope it's not as much as Memorial Day for sure. Volunteers are needed for the Liberty Litter Cleanup. That is tomorrow morning. Crews will be at Siesta Key, Lido Beach, South Lido Beach, Nokomis Beach, North Jetty Beach, and and Blind Pass Beach from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. If you would like to volunteer, they would sure appreciate it. And still to come on your Suncoast News, an alternative to watching what you eat every single day. But does the new trend of alternate day fasting really work? The pros and cons straight ahead. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251.
Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Save big during the 4th of July clearance and pay no interest for 48 months with same-day pickup or next-day delivery. This special purchase double reclining sofa for only $4.99. This special purchase white Florida bedroom for $5.99 and the matching nightstand is free. This special purchase Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen set for $3.99. Exclusively at the Furniture Warehouse in Sarasota, Bradenton, Veniceport, Charlotte and Ellington. And save big. ABC 7's official Suncoast Hurricane Guide arms you with vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Suncoast, including how to create your readiness plan and survival kit. Download yours today at mysuncoast.com. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Now to new research looking at the effectiveness of alternate day fasting. Does this trendy diet really help you lose weight long term? ABC's Mara Scambio Campo looks at the results. It's quickly become a top choice for weight loss. Now let's talk about this new diet craze. Watch what you eat two days a week and eat what you want the rest. Alternate day fasting, a hugely popular diet that many swear by. But now new research is doubting its effectiveness. Does fasting one day and then eating pretty much whatever you want the next day really work? It's simply not sustainable and it's also confusing because it can put you at risk of actually overeating on the days when you're able to quote unquote feast. On fasting days, you eat about 25% of your normal caloric intake. For someone on a 1600 calorie diet, that's just 400 calories for the entire day. What does that look like? Three ounces of grilled chicken, five almonds, a small apple, and half a cup of Greek yogurt. For 34 year old Alicia Mazarek, it was a great jump start to weight loss. She lost 31 pounds in 10 months from eating just 500 calories two days a week. And Alicia says for her, it was easy to maintain. I love that I could still eat pretty much anything I wanted on the non fasting days. So, you know, it was a small price to pay for still getting to eat cookies and drink beer and like have burgers and have bread. But a recent study compares those on an alternate day fasting diet with those who simply cut their calories every day. The result, both groups lost approximately the same amount of weight. So as long as you are reducing your food intake, it really doesn't matter what the pattern of calorie restriction is. You'll lose weight. The study also found that the alternate day fasting group had a higher dropout rate. Some arguing it's a tough diet to maintain long term. If I decided spontaneously to take a bike ride or a walk through the park or walk home, I would be really hungry and tempted to eat a lot more than what was allotted for that day. And we know we are not staying on our diets, at least those who are out at cookout, Steve, this afternoon, enjoying probably some hot dogs and hamburgers. That's not what you're supposed to do on the 4th of July. You're supposed to have a great time, and until the showers got here this afternoon, about 4 o'clock, it was a pretty decent day, although be it hot. From the Lakewood Ranch webcam, they missed most of the storm, but one little cell went right by about 445 there. Most of the activity was in the western part of Manatee County, which we'll see in radar in a minute. Across the state, there's some rain cooling going on in Orlando. Orlando, Naples, uh, not quite Tampa. They're going to miss all the rain from the cell that just passed over us. And if you look at the local temperatures, these are the air temperatures, and they've cooled off a few degrees as a result of the showers that have passed by in the last two hours. Uh, but the heat index is still quite warm, uh, but it it was 101, the feel-like index in Sarasota, about 3 this afternoon. It's warmed back up to 99, so the steaminess is still with us with the sun shining down on that humid air. Now, these were concerning for a while, these storms coming from around Fort Myers into Charlotte County and heading to southern Sarasota County, but you can see they're decreasing in activity and coverage area and intensity, and they'll be moving offshore whatever's left of them long before the fireworks start.
We had another strong storm right over downtown Sarasota, just pelted us with rain, and it moved right along the Bay Shore, Manatee County, and it's just now dissipated right off Anna Maria Island. And that's it for tonight. I don't think we're going to see any more showers once those are gone, certainly not by 9 or 9.30 tonight. Washington, D.C., another area looking for fireworks display tonight on the National Mall. There's some scattered showers now, but it should be fairly dry. There's some more coming from West Virginia and Western Virginia toward the nation's capital, but if they're lucky, they'll get by without any problems. However, in New York City, clear skies for the Macy's fireworks display coming up as well. The rain along the uh, mid-Atlantic coast, part of a stationary front, you can see the areas that will have clouds and rain that won't be able to see the fireworks, uh, but other areas, a good deal of the country will. Temperature is very warm, too, in many places, 92 at Dallas, but only 81 at Chicago, Toronto 77, and uh, Phoenix 108. Here's our forecast uh, for our area for the next 48 hours. And high pressure weakening a little bit and drifting on to the north. Those showers that we have over us now moving offshore overnight. A few more tomorrow afternoon, and then a few more again on Thursday afternoon. And uh, by the weekend, we'll be in that pattern of afternoon evening showers and thunder showers, hopefully giving us those cooler, milder evenings from the outflow boundary and just the rain cooling itself. Out on the water, southeast winds in the morning to southwest in the afternoon, 5 to 10 knots. Seas two feet or less, only a light chop on being inland waters. Slight chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, but it's going to be warm. Both the air and water temperature at the beach, 90 degrees. Here's the forecast for tonight. After 9 o'clock, only a 20% chance of showers, 77 uh, the overnight low. And for tomorrow, a mostly sunny and hot day with a heat index again near 100 to get again. And the seven-day outlook shows that the chance of rain increases to 50, 60% Thursday through next weekend. All in all, a typical pattern for this time of year. And Haley, I think we've lucked out on tonight's fireworks display. All right. Thank you, Steve. Great to hear. Now to Suncoast Traffic Watch. All of the roadways are clear at this hour, except for Midnight Pass Road on Siesta Key. We've been talking about this all evening. Red there on the map. It is getting really tough to get over to Siesta at this hour. Both the north and southbound lanes are backed up near the beach. Volkswagen will be selling cars in Iran for the first time in 17 years. The German automaker says it is beginning to export vehicles to Iran and will start selling Tiguan and Passat models in August. Strict trade restrictions isolated Iran from the rest of the economy for years, but the 2015 deal to curb the country's nuclear program came with an easing of restrictions last year by countries including the U.S. and Germany. Apparently, it might be a good time to try to buy a car because many people are not buying them. U.S. automakers are reporting a sharp drop in sales for the month of June. Compared to a year ago, both General Motors and Ford say sales were down 5%. Fiat Chrysler reported a 7% decline, and analysts are seeing a pattern. Vehicle sales in the U.S. have lagged behind 2016 levels every month this year. If that continues, this year will mark the first since 2009 that industry-wide sales declined. Entertainment news is next. We'll be right back. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now. For every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. 
To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Invest in Kids is a $7.5 million project to build a new Boys and Girls Club in South Manatee County. I'm Caleb Grimes, and I was a club kid. It's where I learned important life lessons, leadership, integrity, responsibility, and baseball. Thousands of kids attend the Boys and Girls Clubs, and after years of use, their club is slowly falling apart. Help us invest in kids. Make your donation today. Hurricane season is here, and so is the official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. This essential resource arms you with vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Suncoast, including how to create your readiness plan and survival kit, shelter locations, what to do with pets, and important phone numbers. Visit mysuncoast.com and download the official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. Brought to you by Batteries Plus, the Florida Lottery, and Sarasota Glass and Mirror. Explore amazing merchants on the Sun Coast. Find great prices, products, and services. Go to mysuncoast.com to buy local today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. And finally tonight, there are spectacular celebrations all across the country. Right now, we leave you with the sights and sounds of the 4th of July parade in Granville, Michigan earlier today. We hope you join us at 6 o'clock in just a few moments for more of our top stories. <laughs> gave him that opportunity so uh, maybe, very maybe, pleased he could be maybe here. Maybe we can get him to come over here? We'll try.